Welcome to the Fi Life Podcast. I'm John Barber, and with me is Brad Pilon. And today we're going to talk about a marketing fitness claims, marketing claims, uh, health and diet, and why uh, Brad and I, as Canadian, as living in Canada and Canadians, kind of view it, I guess, differently or would say different things than our American counterparts, simply because of the legislation in Canada versus the states, and kind of what we're generally exposed to on an ongoing basis, and how it actually forms the way we view what's, I guess, acceptable, what limits are, and um, what limits aren't, and, and what we can and can't say. I think it almost just comes down to why, as a whole, Canadians just aren't as good as marketing the the concept of health, fitness, nutrition, weight loss, as our American friends are. And it's solely just, um, it's a cultural bias, really. Um, we're not exposed to the same type of media onslaught and advertising that our American friends are. Uh, I don't can't recall, other than visiting the States, the last time I've seen a weight loss commercial that was for anything other than Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers. But I'm sure that our American friends listening to this could probably name off the four or five commercials they've seen today that was for either a pharmaceutical or a dietary supplement. Right, and th- and those are things that we don't we won't see on our commercials. Even though we we'll be watching similar television shows, the commercial I don't know if some people don't realize it, but the commercials will be will be different. So mm-hmm. you know, so someone um, you know someone in Kansas City and someone here in Toronto could be watching you know the same the same television show at nine o'clock on CBS, but the commercials are completely different. Absolutely, yeah. and even how I mentioned that we have Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers, the the claims and the tone of the commercials are actually uh, also much different because I have seen uh, the equivalent Weight Watchers Jenny Craig ads in the states, and they are different. So, as a society, you know, we haven't been bombarded with the how fast you can lose weight and how and even in our weight loss commercials, we don't see a transformation of a a average person to a fitness model. You know, our weight loss commercials specifically for people like again uh, Jenny Craig Weight Watchers are clothed people shrinking to be smaller clothed people we don't do the um, guy in bathing suit transformed into fitness model men's health cover in bathing suit we don't see that typically here so we're just not as um, accepting of, of this concept right so a simple claim like lose 30 pounds in 30 days would just any Canadian would hear that claim and be like what wait in the math part of our brain start going and be like that would be a you know at least a 3500 calorie deficit every day for 30 days that's very unlikely probably not possible i don't i don't think so let's see the evidence whereas a lot of people in the states because they've seen this claim or similar claims all the time would be like yeah all right whatever boring that's not that's not impressive so it, it's the it's a difference in, in what we've been exposed to and what are actually if you think about it what our governments allow us to be exposed to that that's really affected how each um, group of people view weight loss and, and weight loss claims. Yeah, it's. I mean, obviously we're speaking in general. It's. I mean, every each okay. person's kind of has their own take on it. And I never sort of considered that until until you brought it up, and then I started thinking about yeah, you know. The, the, the advertising is different, and I can see how someone who isn't in the industry, who's not sort of researching this stuff and coming up with their own products and claims, I can see how you'd get caught up in it and just after time start accepting the fact that you know some larger number claim that you hear constantly, whether it be 20 pounds in a month or 30, whatever it is, if you see it and hear it sort of all the time, I can see how... As illogical as it may be, you'd sort of just get used to it, and somewhere in the back of your mind, you're just used to, well, that must be, you know, if they keep saying it, somehow that might be possible. Yeah, you almost get immune to it, too. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. your, your your BS radar, or your your sort of skeptical eye for it sort of gets uh, diminished, because mm-hmm. you're just, you hear it so often. I think one of the sort of interesting flashbacks for me with, is thinking back to the supplement industry and being a Canadian, working in a Canadian company, my friends, family, and people I ran into in Canada, you know, when I told them what I did for a living, they, the, almost the first thing that came out of their mouth, especially if they've had a drink or two, is like, dude, how, how do you get away with saying the stuff you do? Right? And it was always about the claims, the things we say. Whereas anytime I was visiting in the States, the question was typically like, so does the stuff work?